see folks, this is about to be part two of our day. This has been pretty much a year in the making, almost two years in the making. We're finally about to get to drive this thing. <laughs> That's what we do here on J-Dub Motorsports, folks. We do it all, not just cars. Miami Vice style, speedboat action. Man, you can hear that thing rumbling all the way up there. You, you just an idol. Yeah. All right, all right, y'all ready? Yep. Well, I guess we we'll just start. All right, folks. So, as you can see, we are still out here with my buddy Brandon, and we are on his magnificent spook ah speedboat. What do you call this thing? What it, it's a Wellcraft. Uh, Wellcraft was a company. The model line was a Scarab. It's 38 feet long. It's uh, got uh, twin 502 Merc Cruiser motors in it. Horsepower, which I think it's pumping out probably. 425 on each motor. Okay. Yeah, which, you know, it's an older boat. It's a 26-year-old boat. Uh, yeah. By today's standards, it's it's probably slow. These new boats will do 120 out of the, the box. Yeah. Now, the, this will do about 70. 275 right in that area so but it's <laughs> a 10,000 pound boat too so man and folks I mean all the videos we've seen of this thing all the pictures I mean this just does it no justice I mean you got room for three back here you know what I'm saying Juana Kyle in the background just kind of hanging out it's been a hell of a day man we had a blast out here we just got done wrapping up Brandon's 2009 ZR1 that's built by yep. Benjus Racing and that car was unbelievably fast. I mean, it just, I mean, the, the exhaust note, I mean, it just <laughs> fires. I mean, it just screamed. I mean, it was such a blast, dude. But I think we're going to have even more fun on yeah. this thing right here, man. This has been a long time coming, man. I Definitely. really appreciate you having us out here. No problem. No problem. And I got to give a shout out to my, my friend Jim Florick and Terry Dobbs at Monster Customs in Atlanta. Jim was gracious enough to come up and actually put a new stereo system in. We sweated it out in a warehouse where I store this. Yeah. And we were up here all day. He, he came up and spent the whole day installing a whole new stereo and I can't thank him enough. We're real yeah. happy with it. So yeah. if you need any stereo stuff, anything like that, Monster Customs. Cool, cool. <laughs> nice little plug. Yes. Yes, this will sound good when y'all pull it up. I was like, man, we got some tunes out here on Rock yeah. and Play. Yep. Miami Vice style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted any music in the background at all. I just kind of keep it clean. So, yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. Good, yeah, because YouTube will flag it. Yeah, about so. it. as soon as they hear it, but uh, we'll be good. But we're gonna get we're gonna get underway here in a few minutes. We just gotta get past this no wake zone. No wake, right? Yeah. That's why I was like, we could just do everything. Yeah. Kind of float around out here. So other than the, the stereo system, what what else have you done with it? I see you so, yeah. on the lights. Went through and did all new gauges in it. They were, except for the these two right here, um, went on, did all new gauges, new steering wheel. It had a white leather wrap one from the factory that was just looking worn. Yeah. We did the carpet kit in here, um, nice. which is nice. And then um, I had a guy up in Blairsville, Georgia, that redid the sun pad uh, on there because the leather was just shot it's on sad. it. But. Um, like I said, the boat's 26 years old. It was a freshwater boat all its life in upstate New York and then in Canada. And uh, here it is down on beautiful Lake Blue Ridge ready to... And it's only been on the lake. Like, you haven't taken this thing out of Destin or... No, or... I haven't had it in any salt water or anything. It's only been on Lake Blue Ridge oh, under wow. my ownership, so... Um, How long have you had the boat now? This is my second season okay. owning it, so yeah. So I'm just slowly fixing some things as anybody with, that owns a boat knows there's always something to work on here yeah but um all this leather in here is all original here and i mean you can see it's it's clean for its age yeah so it's very nice thanks it's thanks paint job thanks. inside and out I mean, yeah it's, yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty boat yeah. folks i mean i wish i wish you guys this is the best i could do for y'all yeah it's the best i could do just <laughs> just show it you know like i said this is our first 
Speedboat. I have been on Speedboat before once, you know, on a tour in, in, in Tampa, Clearwater. They had the Thriller boat, yeah. which, you know, holds like, you know, 50 people, whatever. That boat was fun, but I think this one here is going to be just out of the box. Excellent. I just, yep. I just can't yep. wait. But we're gonna get underway right now. So if y'all ready, here we go. Y'all ready? Everybody, hang on. Hang on now. Here we go. Oh my god, I mean, I already love the water anyway. Yeah. 
I mean, oh, I want one of these. I got it. Man, I got to hit the freaking lottery. Damn. <laughs> His house is right. There's a, the flags right there that are oh, okay. dead right there. there. I'm gonna go around these people right okay. here. I almost didn't see them. That's all I can say is <laughs> unfreaking believable, man. Oh, I want one of these so bad. Oh, yeah, I can see why you kind of get a couple side eyes out here. <laughs> yeah. Usually, though, I'm not hammering down that much. Yeah. When my wife and I come out, we'll usually take a lap and then we go anchor and we're chilling for yeah. the rest of the day, listening to music and stuff. But the majority of the people are fine with it. Yeah. Everybody's usually waving and stuff like that, yeah. but it's just, you got a handful that. It's such a freaking cool moment. And it's just not something you see up in this area. That's yeah. that's what it yeah. is. Yeah, it's probably like a coach shot. Yeah. A lot of people. That wind is picking up, man. Yeah, Ooh. I can feel it. So with the, the throttles you have, can you, you can, it's kind of like the, you can kind of play with them as far as adjusting. Yeah, like so when you're when you're running a boat like this, obviously you got your throttles here. These are your transmissions, uh -huh. okay? So they're in forward right now. And you're constantly playing with your trim on your motor. That's why I noticed you was playing and with it. As them, you get up on plane, you want to mess with that trim, and that brings that, that hull of that boat. And really all that you got is propeller and a little bit, maybe 18 inches of that hull. Okay. Back of the hull on the water, and then that's when you're on kill mode. Okay, <laughs> okay. I might actually take one of y'all back with me real quick though, because I'm gonna need help docking this probably by myself with the wind. If it, the wind wasn't bad, whoever yeah, wants yeah. to go, just to kind of, I always have my wife commit to one side, that way I can watch this side. And yeah. Once I get it in there, I'm good. Whoever, whoever wants to do it. All right. Well, folks, not too much more I can say. <laughs> we have come to the conclusion of this video. 
this is unbelievable. <laughs> it's not every day where you get a chance to drive a badass ZR1 and then drive a badass speedboat. I mean, it's just, you know, it leaves you speechless, man. <laughs> That's all we got. Thank all my subscribers, my new subscribers. I've already read all my, my latest one in the last video. Yeah. So, you know, I appreciate you guys tuning in all the time. And um, like I said, thank you, thank you. We're going to keep this thing trucking along. And we'll see you guys next time. Later. Have a good one.